Welcome to another episode of Drunk Guys on Chick Flicks, the podcast that tries too hard so you don't have to. Yeah. I'm your host, Matt, and with me, as always, is your co-host, Garrett. I'm Garrett. He's Garrett. Garrett, what are we watching this week? Matt, this week we're going to watch uh, the 2002 film. Film? Uh, Blue Crush, because uh, you won the bet, and this was your choice. I'm not sure why this was your choice, but... I think you mentioned it like a handful of times in the past, and I was just like, yeah, sure, that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, listen. I felt a little bad about the last bet. Like, I just... I didn't know if, like, it was on, like... You felt like you had an inside track. I felt like I had an inside track. Yeah, you're a piece of shit. It's okay. It's okay. This is... This is the, so I, I kind of picked one that you kept mentioning, so I was like, well, this maybe he'll like this. I don't remember liking this movie. Oh, I've so you just seen mentioned it. it a bunch, but you don't particularly care for it. It's fine. I don't know. Maybe I like it. I don't know. It doesn't seem like a movie I'm going to like. Who who stars in this movie other than Kate Bosworth? Kate Bosworth! Kate Bosworth. Um... Michelle Rodriguez, Sanoe Lake, uh, s- s- uh, mm, I feel bad, I can't pronounce it, S-A-N-O-E, Sanoe? Sure. Sano? Sanoe Lake and Matthew Davis. So, okay. No one. Well, Kate Bosworth and Michelle Rodriguez, we know. Sure, 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 we, li- sure. we like, I think. Sure. I mean, it's Letty. You've always got Letty. You've got Letty and you've got... And then you've got... Mm, Lois Lane. She was Lois Lane. Low Kate, Lane. Kate Bosworth was Lois Lane. Lola. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, any cool trivia for this movie? Um, like cool I like trivia. I want like really cool trivia. Yeah, there's not very much cool trivia. Um, so Anne's last name. Wait, is, who's, who's Anne? Is uh, that Kate Bosworth? I, I believe that's Kate Bosworth's character's name. I don't, I don't, Double I check. Go into the scoreboard. No it's record. Anne Marie. Anne Marie. Okay, so what? Her last name is Chadwick, and it's a nod to Elvis's character in the movie Blue Hawaii, whose first name was Chadwick. Oh, he surfs in that movie, right? That's like a surfing movie also, Sure, but it's called Blue Hawaii, and the movie's called Blue Crush, and it takes place in Hawaii. Oh. See? See? All the pieces are fitting together. Like Lego. Like I, Lego pieces. I don't understand the reference. Or, uh, you were you were a, a Duplo guy? <laughs> were, you, were you an Imaginex guy? Uh, I was like a Steel Tech and Connects kind of guy. <laughs> No, Legos. Who didn't play? Everyone played Legos. Everyone played Lego. Even knockoff Legos. But, no, it's Lego. But not Duplo. See, but the, the, the plural of Lego is Lego, so it's not Legos. It's just Lego. Like, you want to go play Legos? Yeah. No, it's Lego. I don't think you're right. I'm I'm positive I am. What's the plural of Ego? Like, Ego waffles. Like... Well, waffles is pluralized. No, so. but like, what's the, what would be... Like, if you are going to well, say... Ego like, is like a name. Yeah, but like, I'm going to go eat an Ego. Right? And then, like, I'm going to go eat some Eggos. Like, that's Eggos. Legos. I understand. I'm telling you what I know about Lego. And they are, the plural of Lego is Lego. Anyway, you fucking asshole. I'm pretty, uh, mad. I'm, pretty mad. I'm, I'm mad for you. The next point uh, that I have here is for the big competition at the end of the movie. So we know there's a big competition. So there's a big competition. There's a big surf competition at the end of the movie. Um, apparently... They had a male pro surfer, like, shave his legs, put on a bikini, and put on a big old wig, and, like, do the surfing for Kate Bosworth, only to then digitally replace him with Kate Bos- Bosworth after the fact. Why couldn't they have just gotten a female pro surfer with a blonde wig? Like, just... that seems so... over. Like, I, I get if Kate Bosworth can't pull off whatever thing it is, right? Like, she's not a professional surfer, like, you know, and having her learn how to do whatever for this might be, like, quite an undertaking. However... It seems like so much more effort to be like, all right, uh, yeah, shave your yeah, legs. No, shave them more. All no, right, a little, uh, yeah, a little more. Shave them more. Shave them more. But, right, but wear even this, just... Wear, I, this, wear this lady's bathing suit. The hilarity the, that, like, they made him wear a lady's bathing suit and, like, put on a wig and shave his legs only to just, like, yeah, we're not gonna we're not going to use this. We're just going to cut this all out and just, like, it's apparently you can only see his feet and then she's digitally repla- replaced from that up. From, like, the ankle up. Do you think he was surfing in, like, a green suit then? No, like, he wasn't Green Man. He was in a no, bikini. like a CGI suit. You he know? was in a bikini. But you said you only see him from the feet down. Yeah, they digitally replace him later. I don't. I don't know movie magic. This is also 2002, so it can't look good. I know. I'm actually kind of excited for this. <laughs> like this. Like that's enough reason to pay attention to the end, right? Sure. Yeah. Um. Any other really cool trivia though? Sure. Uh, the movie is apparently based on the article "The Maui Surfer Girls" by Su- Susan Orlean in 1998. Um, I said really cool trivia. Um, 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 Matthew Davis apparently knocked Kate Bosworth unconscious 
while filming the movie while he was fucking around with his surfboard. He like he like pushed it underwater to be like, oh, look, I could hold it under. And then it popped back up into her fucking head. I was hoping you would say it was like an Abbott and Costello routine where he like spun it around. Like, you know, like the old routine with like the ladder where a guy turns around with a ladder on sure, his shoulder. Sure, sure. You're thinking more uh, through Stooges. That was kind of their move. Uh, okay. I, will, I challenge you to. Oh. That's the bet. <laughs> That's the bet. Whether or not that was that. No. But do we have a bet? I have. I have two options. One's better than the second. All okay. right. Give me the, first give me, is, give me the options. The first is the, the less good is. The less good. Does the song Wipeout play in this movie? Because as I'm thinking about it, it kind of has to, right? Like, Fine. Right? We'll, use, we'll do that one. It's really dumb. Because like, it might just not like at all. And I have no recollection of whether or not it does. Wipeout. I feel like it would have to. Or the other one. It's and 2002. This is... I think it's way past the prime for time. But I think that's like the point. It's like a surfing movie, and just like I'm sure there's like POD and... in this and stuff, or like Evanescence. Boom! Here comes the boom. Imagine, Ready or not? I'm imagining like how you like me now. Yeah, maybe that too. Who knows? But it might be, that might be too intense. I don't know. I don't remember how lighthearted this movie is, so it's not really. That seems really angsty, like you what? know, yeah. like an assassin like attacking sandbags what? with size yeah. or something. I don't know. Jennifer Gardner reference. Hey. Uh. So the other one, the other possibility here is whether or not she wins the competition at the end. So we know from that trivia that she has a competition at the end. I loosely re- remember from 16 years ago that she, like, there's a competition. Why did you see this movie? I saw every movie. I've seen I saw movie. all of I've the movies. movies. So uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm wondering if we could bet, like, whether can or we not do she a, wins. Can we do, like, a, like an, a part A and part B? Yeah, but what if I win one and you win the other? Well, we can make like the 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 competition like the main one, and then we can make like the the song like whoever wins that gets to pick whatever we drink. Just for this week, it's just a little a little. I hate it. Okay, well, then... but all right. Well, then fuck off then. I don't know. Uh, I think that's the bet. The uh, you know whether or not the competition, she, whether or not she wins the competition, what, what, whether she wins the sweet competition. Yeah. Okay. Um. I would say, oh, you get to choose first because you won, you lost last right. week. Right, and I don't have an inside track on this because I really don't remember what happened. Sure. I'm going to bet that she doesn't win the competition at the good, end. Good, because I was going to bet that she does win the competition at the end. Cause... Good, then, cause good, 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 good. All right, so there, that's the bet. What are we drinking this week? Uh, so, because it's... um. Because it's takes surfing, it's surfing, and it takes water. Pl- and it takes place in Hawaii, right? Right. I with chose, water. I chose Big Wave. What is it? It's a Golden Ale. It's a Golden Big Wave Golden Ale by Kona Brewing, which is a Hawaiian brewing company. It's really on the nose. You did. Hey, a, you did a good job. With I did this. a real good job. Yeah. Uh, I'm very proud of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Really, just oh, like yeah, 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 yeah. I'm proud of me oh, for oh, so oh, many yeah. things. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh sure, yeah. Sure, 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 sure. sure. Yeah. All right. Uh, all right, so I think that's it. We're gonna go watch Blue Crush. Ugh. It just sounds like a, like a <laughs> it sounds like a bad soda. I would probably love a Blue Crush. There probably is Blue Crush. No. Oh, Crush is a kind of soda. Is yeah, it? Crush is a kind of. It's like, like it's like the. Is there like a grape Crush? But that's probably purple. Yeah, I would imagine. There might have been a Blue Crush at one point. Do you think they drink Blue Crush? We're gonna look this up. Anyway, we're gonna watch Blue Crush. Why is it called Blue Crush? I hate you so much. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know. We'll find out. Maybe we'll find out. Maybe she has like um, a crush on a, a dead crush guy on the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's so dead he turned blue or something. I don't know. That's fucked, it's man. Food, it's food for thought. So we're going to go watch Blue Crush now. Sorry. If you're going to watch it too, pause us here. And as always, we're sorry for whatever happens next. And we'll see you on the other side. And we're back. And we're back. Uh, Matt and I just watched Blue Crush. And we're very sorry for doing so. So what I will say is I feel like this is less popular than maybe some of the other movies we've done. So in all sincerity, like, I think if you haven't seen Blue Crush, Don't just like, go, it. Yeah, like yeah, go watch it. Like, I think really? I think it's like, oh, it's not. It's bad. It's gotta, very bad. But they're... like, it's like this will only be enjoyable for you. Because there's such specific stupidity in the movie. Like, it's fine. Like, it's fine. I, honestly, it's fine. I don't think it was fine. I actually, like, 
I specifically remember halfway through the movie pausing it to see how much time was left and being like, how is it possible? I withdraw what I said about it. It's, it's actually, it's not stupid. It's just ungood. Like, there's nothing stupid about it. Well, You're not like, oh, that was a dumb choice. Like, it's literally just well, like, because oh, Because there couldn't be good. any dumb choices because this movie was about nothing. Well, this it was movie, about a surf competition. It was about so nothing. It. Like, at least Made Manhattan was about something. But this movie was about nothing. That's not to say I'm ranking this lower than Made in Manhattan. Yeah, I don't, know, just I don't know where I ranked yet. So here, broad strokes, you didn't, you didn't like it. I didn't. I really didn't enjoy myself. I, I honestly like really didn't enjoy it as a whole. There were parts where I like was paying more attention because it was more engaging here and there. But for the most part, not good. Um. So, real quick. You want to do two sentences? You want to I'm going to do one sentence. One sentence. Hit it. How did, was the plot of this movie in one sentence? Go. Girl trains and competes for a big surf competition, falls in love with pro athlete, and and that's it. That's it. That's the whole movie. Okay, so is it my turn now? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, thanks. Mm, so. Thank you. Um young woman who was really promising as a surfer but had a bad experience um is training for a surf competition she was invited to the right? grand pipe she the grand master pipe grand master wait, pipe. wait hey, stop it Sorry. so uh while she's training loses her job and falls in love with a guy who turns out to be a pro football player this is far more than one sentence this is one sentence who uh, wants to pay her for surf lessons? Whom? Great. <laughs> um, this is this is definitely your second sentence right here. This is my third sentence now. Oh, that oh. was two sentences. Oh, I didn't know you were doing no, three that sentences. Was two, I'm doing three sentences. Uh, you didn't say you're doing three sentences. I did one sentence. Yeah, because you said I only need one. I only need one. So, third sentence. Third sentence. Um, gets distracted by romance with this guy the high life leads her to question it all but ultimately finds her confidence and competes at the grand master pipe grand master pipe does that sound like a like a like a rapper name i guess i don't know like the Funk amount Mas- of times Funk master they, flex the amount oh, of times he's a dj the amount of times that they said the fucking word pipe in this movie <laughs> did oh sweet pipe uh oh, getting after that pipe you're gonna lay some pipe oh uh, you piping yeah the, the headline at the end is actually girls lay pipe i was like what this is absurd uh yeah a lot of pipe uh so much a lot of silly surf sounding jargon. surf slang but we like look i looked up a list of surf slang and like pipe. oh did you look up surf slang sorry do you know a thing about surfing or surf slang matt I know pipe. Yeah, apparently pipe is not a real thing. According I know, to this I know list. shredding the gnar, brah. Oh, get after that gnar. Gotta shred that gnar. Uh, I also saw online that they that sometimes he was like, "Oh, dope barrels out there today." Okay, dope, 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 right, dope, right, dope, right. dope, dope, dope. So uh, those are my three sentences. Cool. Um, I mean, you got three you're, you're generally better at that than I am. Thank you. I'm. I hey, hey it's it's nice to give you. snaps when you need to give snaps. I appreciate that. So. Uh, before we go any further with that, the the Kona Big Wave Golden Ale. How'd you feel about it? Didn't really care for it. I didn't love it. It, it was, was fine. It was really good cold. I kind of drank it slow. It warmed up a little bit. It wasn't that good. Warm. It was, it, it, I don't know. I had a I couple. Know. I had a couple. It was very, um, I, I wouldn't like put it above like most like regular, like, I don't know, like Budweiser or anything like Interesting. that. It's like, I, definitely, I mean a little bit, but like not by much. I uh I like I like other Kona beers like a lot like I like Fire Rock and I like Castaway IPA. Castaway like, is actually really great. I really the other like one, Longboard. Castaway. I think right. Longboard's Longboard is something. There's another one that was I think like Longboard's another IPA. Very really good. But I mean, this wasn't my favorite. I didn't I didn't dislike it. it wasn't gross. Sure. Um, but it was okay. drinkable. I just it's not something I'd ever go back to by choice. Right. It was drinkable, but I'd like to not drink it anymore. Sure. Uh. All right. So that was uh that was pretty good. Uh. You want to do? Yeah. No, you, that was fine. Do the bet. You want to do the bet? Yeah, we can do the bet. Um, so Garrett won the bet, and it's mostly um, frustrating because I don't think the person that she was like really up against in the whole competition won the competition either. 
Well, she beat her. Right. But that's all that, like, they never, like, go on to let you know that, like, so that, I don't know. She's up against a pro surfer at the very end. We bet, who, who we, we meet at the beginning. We bet whether or not she was going to win the competition at the end. Right. Because we knew she was and, she, and she did not. And she did not. To be fair, you also lost the bet because Wipeout was never played once during this movie Okay, at all. so, but, like, that wasn't the real bet. So, I mean, mm. so it's like, whatever. It feels so like semantics so at this whatever. point. Okay, well, great. Great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wipeout Thank never you. played this movie. And I feel like those were a missed opportunity. Soundtrack, I don't, I don't uh, think it was. Scores. But what was played in this movie, Garrett? Oh, Matt earlier said, I think we're going to hear some P.O.D. And there's like a training montage where she's like out in the middle of the ocean with a, with Michelle Rodriguez dragging her from a jet ski. And she's like, what is it? Youth uh, of the Nation by we P.O.D. Are, we are. I, I heard the fucking drum track. I was Youth like, I'm so good at this. You are, you are pretty good at that. That, I I didn't think that was that predictable, and apparently it Come is. Come on, man! Two thousand two, that was prime POD. I don't even like know other PODs. Yeah, you do. Well, um, come on. Go ahead. Give me a second. No, don't look it up. If you don't know it, then it's no good. The, you know the the their big song was uh mm-hmm. oh uh, alive. I feel so alive for the very first time. You know the song. I know the song. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I won the bet. I'm going to pick something good next week for episode 15. Big one five. It's like a, like a milestone, right? Well, it's, it's a lot longer than I thought we'd make. It feels like this podcast has been like a 45 year marriage between you and I just slugging it out, learning about each other, sure. learning about each other, learning painful truths, De- about each other. developing a partnership, you know, developing trust. But ultimately, um, you and I uh, don't sleep together anymore. So separate beds, separate beds, <laughs> separate everyone. Lucy and Ricky style. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he claims that it's because I snore, but it's not that. <laughs> so, um. All right. So soundtrack. I mean, that was kind of it for soundtrack, though, right? It was that, and uh, uh, well, there was uh, what was it? Uh, Could you be loved? Was at the beginning. It was like a, it was remix a weird remix of version of Could that. You Be Loved. I don't know. Uh, we, we've kind of fallen off on the soundtrack a little bit, and like. That's, well, it, it's a little bit our fault and also a little bit the movie's fault. There's, right. It wasn't very notable. No. I didn't, I didn't really love I didn't that. care for it. Um, I don't know anything about surfing. It was something I realized, like... Yeah, no, 0%. More so while I was watching this movie. You know what else is something I realized during this movie? Mm-hmm. I don't care to know anything about surfing. It just seems like so much work. It seems like a lot of work. Like, it seems like something that unless you were going to be a professional or work really hard at it and be, like, a nasty surfer, it seems like something like, I'm good. Yeah, <laughs> like, like I'll, I'll the see, amount of I'll like watch paddling, and then like they don't, if they don't get the wave, then they have to paddle back out. It's also, just, this movie would make you think that it's particularly treacherous if you're really chasing that sweet gnar. Well, to be fair, they did say a couple times that like um, the place where she like bashed her head in the first time that like made her all scurred um, was the same place that they they um, they competed at the end. Oh, it said that? Yeah. I didn't catch that. Okay. At the very end, they were like, at this very spot is where she, ne- like, where she suffered a brain injury, brain brain hemorrhage. Sure. Was that? Everyone mentioned her backstory. A lot. A lot. Like, oh, and then she dropped out of the pro circuit because she had a, uh, could, because she was scared off by an injury or something. And everyone says it, like, in those exact kind of disrespectful sounding terms yeah. the entire time. Well, to be fair, also, I'm sorry, not to be fair, but the, the announcer... Who's was the most deadpan person on the planet? Oh, I uh, I hope they're okay. He was warning people to get out of like the wave crash area, <laughs> and he's like, "Seriously, though, watch out, guys, guys, move your kids uh, in." <clears throat> All right, so uh, I do want to say that the uh, love interest in this movie, Matt, is Warner from Legally Blonde, which I can't believe we didn't realize that going into this. It's Warner from Legally Blonde, it's also funny. known as. Dane Brady, because he looks Brady. like Tom Brady. That's right, yeah. Which and, is, da- and, Dan- and Dane Cook. Which is even funnier in this movie, because I think he's supposed to be Tom Brady in this movie. Is he supposed to be Tom Brady? He is an NFL quarterback. They never mention the team. National Football League. Thank you. Thank you. So, he's an NFL quarterback. He looks just like fucking Tom Brady. Tom Brady was drafted, like, a year or two before this movie came out. So, like, Tom Brady was a thing, and he's always been known as, like, a heartthrobby, handsome guy. Like me. Yeah, I... Yeah. Or you, I guess, too. No. No. Less. Less that. Less. 
But I think he was supposed to be Tom Brady, which was like pretty funny. The whole time I was just imagining Tom Brady falling in love with a surfer. Sure. Which like, hey, who knows? Hey, that could be a thing. Surfers or, need love or, too. Or, <laughs> sure. Yeah. I mean, or Denny's waitress or. That was such a stupid thing. This entire movie was a stupid thing. No, I think there was a story here, but I think it was it told. A good one. Like in a lame way. So like Kate Bosworth has a little sister and she lives with a little sister and her two friends. One is Michelle Rodriguez. One is the other actress whose name I can't pronounce. Um, and like their mom left. And that's kind of all the only, the only backstory you get there. The mom, like, I don't even know. Did she leave? Yeah. Leave, so or she was... left. Like she took off with some dude and went to Vegas. I thought it was like vacation. Took off. No, the like kids. gone. Oh, gone, yeah, gone, gone. Like gone, gone. That's okay. why they're like, she works as a, as a maid in the hotel to try to like pay rent and support the sister and. Um, Can we talk about the fact that she lives with these with Michelle Rodriguez and the other girl? I can't, I don't know the actress. Yeah. She lives with them. She works with them, and then she just like hangs out. I like you a lot. I would want to fucking kill myself if I spent that much time with any person. If I lived with you, surfed at five a.m. with you, worked with me, worked with you for eight hours, and, and then, then like came partied home with me and like... partied with you, and then lived with you some more, you'd be dead. Yeah. I wouldn't be dead. You'd be dead. No, no. I, well, you know, that's yet to be seen. There, there's there's, some argument there. You'd be dead. I'd probably be dead. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's so that's like where she's at. So she's kind of like hard up. Um, so a lot of in a lot of ways, like the, the surfing is like a way out for her. Oh, sees... I wrote this down. At one point she says, um, oh, I'm tired of holding my breath. Ooh, metaphor. It's a metaphor for her whole life. She's just it waiting. Is. It is. Everything is just waiting. It's, it's also um, very literal because it's immediately after she comes up from under the water. When for Michelle Rodriguez is pulling her. Oh, no. When she's doing that weird like run with the rock and they're holding on to her. I guess so, yeah. I mean, can I tell you? Impressive. Kind of cool. Yeah, kind of impressive. Kind of a cool she's thing. She's like training underwater, holding a gigantic 50-pound looking rock. Something that's going to hold her down at least. Right. Um, and two other women. Sprinting other water yeah. with, with no breathing apparatus. No breathing apparatus. Zero. Yeah. That was, it, that, that was, that was cool. That was one part I was like, oh, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Um, so it's funny. Like, So early on in the movie, they're getting gas at the gas station, and this uh, professional woman surfer... Um, pulls up to the gas station and they're like, look, look at all her boards. And she's with her jet skis and her billabong sponsors with her. And it's so funny because I feel like just before this happened, I'm watching this movie and I'm thinking like, she's saying this is like going to be her way out. But like, how is this, how is she going to like, like improve her situation through surfing? Like better, better living through surfing. Um, What? Well, I just didn't understand how she was going to go back. And then like, they kind of like, like punch you in the face with this like oh and her billabong sponsors there yeah you don't have to pay for anything anymore like once you get to that status they'll fly you all over the world you can surf tahiti you can surf australia and indo which i assume is indonesia but sure but I'm like not a surfer so. but like also like what about your 11 year old sister she's 15 sure we think if, if you can say that all i mean they announced that she's 15 a bunch oh, of times. okay but that being said she looks like a child she looks like, like a young like a very child. young not that 15 is not a child but like she looks like a very young child like there's one part where she like sneaks out of the house after smoking pot and goes to some party and they do like a bunch of shots of the party and they're all these like adult looking people grown, grown people grown ass men and, and just, women she's on a couch with what we assume is an alcoholic beverage with like some grown man's arm around her and it was a weird fucking scene i didn't love it I, like, especially is, since like the sister's like trying to get her to go and all like the grown ass men are like no leave her leave here. her like, she's one of us now. it wasn't just grown ass men there was grown ass women there too but like no but like at that at point, that exact moment yeah it was like she wants to stay and then like after the after the sister like goes like fuck it i'm out of here like, one of the grown-ass men puts his arm around her. He's like, it's okay. It's all done now. Yeah, I was uncomfortable. With I was uncomfortable scene. with it. Um, this was PG-13, right? Yeah, I, I would imagine. Uh, yeah, like, there's, like, no terrible uh, language. language or, there was no sec- uh, sexuality. It flirts uh, there with no, a lot like, of sexuality, but it never, like, shows sexuality, really. Like, there's, like, there was like there's a pretty, the condom. There's the condom. The condom the con- or something. The there condom, was, like, yeah. the shower scene was a little racy. You see top of butt. Yeah. Top, top I was actually, of the butt. I was not expecting that. Um, <laughs> I wasn't because it's like, it is, it is like a, a teen movie and it's like a, it seems like a teen movie. I'll right? tell you what like, they weren't afraid to shy away, what they weren't shying away from. Just like butt shots entirely of every woman surfer. And the dude and t- and Matt when he was on there too. And the, really? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's like this, 
it just focuses on everyone's body. And the, like the like the local guys too who are all like really cut. Yeah. It's like ab shot, ab shot. <laughs> it was a lot. Like, it was very it was super everyone was super sexualized, it's true. Uh yeah, it was, yeah, so it was a peach thirteen. I was actually wondering that as we were going through. Yeah. But um yeah, whatever. So she meets Tom Brady. Yeah, yeah, whatever. She meets fucking Tom Brady. And then there's like, honestly... Well, she there's... gets fired from the, the hotel first. Yeah, and she's going to teach him how to fucking surf to make money. And then they like... like it was, that was like, also they all like... like each other and shit and whatever. It was all montages. It was no, like no. five montages yeah, in a row. that. But I also meant like, well, this entire movie was pretty much just surf montage, surf montage, surf, surf montage. But I just meant like, um, the whole like... How much? And like, how much? Like the bartering. I, I don't know. I didn't like that either. It just felt. That's and he's fine. like. I don't know. Like there was one. There was one where he was like, only have 40 bucks on me. But if you come up to my room, I could pay the rest. I was like, that's, that's a lot. A, that's the start of a pornography. That's a bunch. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, I don't know. I feel like a lot of nothing happened. A lot of the movie is just her and Michelle Rodriguez, like kind of at it because it's like. Well, if you're not going to get your confidence and work real hard to do this, then, like, I guess we should. And she's like, yeah, well, then maybe I won't. And then it's like, well, good. Well, good then. Well, all right. Well, good. Well, then don't. Well, then I won't then. Shut up. Like, for a good portion of the movie, it's just like, I guess she's struggling with confidence issues while also falling in love. She's getting distracted, Garrett. And that's what Michelle Rodriguez had a problem with. She was shying away from her, her fucking destiny as a pro surfer. Because that's a thing, apparently. That's a thing. That's sure. like, that's like totally a thing. It's yeah, like yeah. not a super mainstream thing, but mm-hmm. it's a thing. Mm-hmm. It'll uh, never be a super mainstream. It, thing. It's also like uh, Michelle Rodriguez is like pushing, even though Michelle Rodriguez is apparently like an awesome surfer as well, but she wasn't invited to this thing. So I don't she's think like, she's that awesome of a surfer. I think it's like she was a good surfer when she was a kid, but like she's got like, overshadowed. She's not as good yeah. as Kate Bosworth. Kate Bosworth. But, oh, also interesting thing that we noticed in the beginning that we didn't realize was a real thing. Kate Bosworth has heterochromia. She, her eyes are two different colors. Yeah. I don't know if that's like a well-known thing. I don't know I if I've ever either. noticed that before. Yeah, one mm. one's like a like a greeny blue. hazily, and one's like a bluey blue. Blue blue bluey blue. Uh, but it's in the beginning, and I was like, "Is that? Would they have added that to no, make her yeah, character? Just to make her?" And then we immediately exotic. looked it up, and we're like, "Oh no, thank God!" Okay, she has had That would be such a, like a hilarious touch. They're like, but also. Let's make the main character of heterochromia. Like, mm. let's let's hey, let's paper that. Let's in give her there. a little something extra. Push like, her over the line. The director has heterochromia and feels <laughs> as though it should be more prevalent. So sure, you're, you'll wear one contact the for entire the two movie. months that we shoot this film. It itches. No one cares. Uh, with regard to the stunt double being oh, it being was, a man. It was. I mean, and her being CGI. I'm not even saying that like the man thing was very apparent, but that was the very the, bad CGI yeah, was super was, like, apparent. Into and listen, Kate Bosworth is not a world class surfer. Apparently, no, it turns I, out. Well, t- funny story. It turns she out she didn't have years to learn how to surf in preparation for this movie. Yeah, so, yeah, I mean, listen. good for her. It was. It, it was pretty funny. They were like, "There it is." Ooh, there it is. Yeah. Ooh, 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 there it is. Did you notice that there was never like intense surfing shots of the the other two girls? Like you see them like palling around with like the football players when they're teaching them to surf. But I didn't notice that actually. But yeah, I because guess because they probably couldn't the... afford to like CGI well, the I faces think, on. I think the friend that wasn't. Um, I'm gonna try and find her Michelle name. Rodriguez. Her name is Snow Lake. So I think she can surf because like during the montage of them teaching the football players how to surf. Right. It seemed like she was actually surfing quite a bit in that oh, montage. Yeah. yeah. I, I failed to notice. But also she's like not as big of an actress or act like, you know, like as, sure. as either of the other two. So sure. I'm like, maybe she was just like a really good surfer that they were like, oh, and we need someone who can actually surf. Do we so. know if the, the, the pro surfer in this movie was actually a pro surfer? Cause she couldn't act. I'll tell you that. Much. So I looked up, uh, Kate Scarrett, who's yeah. one of the ones she goes against in like the first round of the competition. She's real. And I think the second one is for sure real as well. I just didn't look up her name. That they said it a couple times. Oh, did they? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't. I don't know. It, it, it. There wasn't really much of an arc. Like it didn't seem like she like the only thing she learned was like to have confidence and like I guess a little bit to like trust him, because like she she trusted him and then she she seems like she shouldn't trust him because she overhears those mean girls in the bathroom talking about how he like oh my god hooked up with some waitress last she, time they she, were away. Or where something. does she think she's going with that dress to the prom? Yeah. 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 It was dumb. And then she, and then she throws the shoes at them like here bitch have my fucking shoes and then runs away towards the beach 
and and Matt, the guy, I don't, I don't know the actor's name, but the character's name, Matt, is like chasing her down. He's like, "Where are you going?" And she's uh, like sprinting into the ocean in like a fucking like naval gown. cut dress, in a, in a gown. evening gown, in a gown. I'm going to the ocean. <laughs> this is where I belong. That was. Uh... That was actually like laugh out loud funny because it was it was very like where is she going? Yeah, what is what's the plan here? Why is what's she... the plan, Anne Marie? I see you leaving on your feet, walking Ray, even walking to a boat or, to, or swimming know, to a boat. Where even. You, where your car is because yeah, she they did drive ha- a car drove there. her car there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah but the whole time I was like, but why is she? Where is she? She needed going? the cleansing, cleansingness of she just she keeps swimming. Yeah. She just drowns. That that was her whole plan. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna end it all right here. They all hate me. I got dark, sorry. It's too much. You leave me too much air there. You made me sad. <laughs> Perfect. Uh so yeah, that was weird. Whatever. She learns to like trust him. And we don't know how that love story plays out. He comes to the to the thing at the end to watch her, you know, to the competition to watch her, you know, perform or whatever. Which is also another weird thing because Michelle Rodriguez, for the majority of the movie, is like, forget him. He's going to leave And soon. then at the end, she's like, look who came. Yeah, I found him. <laughs> that is really, yeah, she turns one, uh, full 180 there. That's she does so another strange. full 182 where the entire movie, she's like, you know, you were born for this. Like, if you don't do this, you're nothing. Yeah, and and at the end of the movie, like, after she eats shit for, like, the first time, she's like, hey, you know you don't have to go back out there, right? It's just a dumb competition. Yeah, it's just a dumb competition. What? What are you saying? You drove me here. <laughs> you made me do this. Uh, yeah, you basically I told me I was pathetic if I didn't. It's unclear. I, you know, I think at the end, ultimately, you know, she she tries real hard. She doesn't come in. I don't. I don't even know if she also comes in second, but she like scores an awesome she, wave. She super doesn't come in second because there's. They actually mentioned there's another heat. Like she doesn't oh, make the next. She doesn't heat. make the next heat. Yeah. Okay, so. Um, but she proved it to herself that she could do it, Garrett. Well, and she also like kills this wave at the end, and like immediately, sure. like this woman comes over and is like, "Hi, I work for Billabong. I'd really like to talk to you." Like. Would you hey, like to be on our team? You're yeah, set. you know what? I really would. I, there is a sequel to this movie. Do we think it follows the same character after the fact, or do ne- we think it's like new people? I gave it a quick glance on IMDb. Okay. It's different characters. Oh, okay. Yes. Well, that's less fun. I wonder if like some like C level background character is in this. Like one of the other, like uh, one of the other maids from her ex boyfriend that yeah. like floats between being a bad guy and good guy in this movie. Yeah, that was really unclear. At the very beginning, he's like, you can do that. He was, like, really trying to pump her up. Yeah, he's, like, super encouraging. Yeah. And he's like, no, 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 like, we'll block for you. Like, that that's an awesome wave. Let's go get, like, really good waves. Like, you can do this. Like, and that, then he like, beats the shit out of Matt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And yeah. then, at the end, he's, like, cheering her on again. And, like, kind of a douchebag to Matt at the same... I don't know. Uh, yeah. I don't know. But, I mean, she, 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 she wins. She wins, like, in terms of, like... Getting a, a surfing sponsorship and like she maybe found someone she can trust in him and that's the that's the movie. I think that's generally the plot. Yeah. Uh, like and the lesson and everything. Else. I'll tell you what. I actually think we give it a lot more time towards the plot than I thought we were gonna be able to. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. No, uh, I mean not sorry. I'm serious. I just meant like woof. You know what I noted as like a common thing in like uh, more movies within this genre that we that we're watching. What's that? There are a lot of scenes in women's bathrooms where, like, where they overhear someone something. overhears yeah. something while they're in a stall, or like that was another graphic moment, by the way. <laughs> she like lifts her dress all the way up. Doesn't like show anything. No, I know. I just thought like there was a couple like in the beginning when she's uh, when they're cleaning the uh, oh yeah there's vom- hotel room there's, there's like, like a, shit and there's, vomit there's, everywhere. There, there's doo doo brown in the toilet. Doo doo brown. It's horrible. And I was like, like you, it doesn't make the scene no better. better. <laughs> like you, <laughs> like when like, they were wincing at the bathroom, you got what they were wincing yeah, at. Okay, now, okay, now, pan out and show them the poop. Show the shit. <laughs> show them the poop. <laughs> All right, now, 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 wide angle, and hard cut to the poop. Cut. All right, we're gonna re- reshoot the poop scene again. Can we set the poop back up? Yeah, we didn't get the, we didn't get the poop the way we wanted. The poop, I didn't love so. The, I didn't love the color on it. Oh God! Yeah, that was too much. You know, it was fake. You knew it was fake. Yeah, uh, but yeah, I thought that was funny. Like, you know, uh, what? Uh, she's the man. There's like the bathroom fight. Um, What's the bathroom fight? 
Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Between the three and then she's yes. the man. Yes. I'm positive there are other bathroom scenes, too. If, well, there's the, there's the one in Pretty Woman where she's flossing and he thinks that she's uh Yeah, but I'm, I'm saying more in like a women's like public bathroom. Okay, like, okay, okay, okay. I'm sure there are others. Anyway. Um, <laughs> oh, so yeah, I, I, I kept writing down, I know nothing about surfing. So when they were like, when they were like writing down scores. He really doesn't. When they were writing down scores and it was like, oh, but she was like, uh, she surfed that, she surfed the board. To the, to the wave over the wave did Her. she how did she score the points yeah where where are the points happening here and like you see the first what the the pro go and you see like the guy writing down 7.8 8.0 7.5 and i'm just like what does that mean what does it mean like she fell off the board but she still got like a she still I, got, she got, I don't, still got points i don't get it i don't know i don't get it i don't know i don't want to get it and then like what's her name the main character Anne marie scores perfect tens across the board when not in the last oh, it was round. the first round. The first round. That's what happened. That's uh, what happened. No, it's weird in that. That that was the other thing. In the first round, they were four point somethings, all the scores. And then in the second round, they were ten, nines and tens across the board, which like, I don't know if we're working on a different scale. Time is meaningless. Everything's meaningless. <laughs> Nothing makes sense. <laughs> Nothing makes sense. Everything's meaningless. Um, Should this movie have died? Yeah. Oh, real bad. I just think it's like not really worth the watch unless it's, you're it's gonna podcast such a test. It. It's such a testament to 2002. <laughs> well, I also think it was like, just like I don't know. It's I don't know. There's no real depth. This to is it. just after um, Fast and Furious, right? Uh, it's a year after Fast yeah, and Furious. So this yeah. is so them Michelle try- Rodriguez is already on the map. Right. They're but trying the, to cash in on that. Right. I'm I'm saying they're trying to cash in on any like niche like. It's also a year after extreme sport thing that they can. It's also a year after Legally Blonde, so Dane Brady's already on the map as well. He's never been on the map. No, I understand that, but like it was like, oh, he people people liked him. People I thought he was a handsome guy in Legally Blonde. I'll Here tell you right now, I liked him a lot more in this movie. He seemed like like for when you see him in Legally Blonde, and the, I mean they make him up to look that way. He's supposed he's to be like the smarmy, smarmy douchebag. Yeah, and in this one, I'm just like, oh, he's like a good looking guy, I guess. I guess. I guess I, I guess I'd like. Hug them and stuff. Yeah, I think this movie kind of did die, and I think it like it probably it's deserves fine. it. Although it was on Netflix, so like somebody's watching it, you know. Like, that doesn't oh. mean anything. There's so want? much garbage on Netflix. What do you want tonight? Netflix. I'm sorry. Now we'll never get that. Drunk never going to get Netflix. that sponsorship. Netflix special. Damn it. Damn. Um. All right. Would I mean? Would you recommend it to people? No. No. Okay. I. I think this might be one of the few that I just don't bother. Why bother? There wasn't much to it. Like, I, yeah, there wasn't really much to it. What, um, what'd the critics say about this movie? Um, okay, so. On, on the Roddy Tomatoes. I have this right here. So the critics gave it a 6 point, uh, 6.1, a 61%, which is fresh, certified fresh. That is certified fresh. That's also, that's better than I thought it would have oh, been. Oh, by, by like a lot. Yeah. I, I yeah. thought this would have been like 40 30 something me I, I probably would put it like thought it would be 50 critic score about sure just because like i don't know it's just there's flat. nothing to it there's it's just flat it's kind of flat it's also kind of flat. Can, i forgot to talk about this but uh, i'll do the audience score first the audience liked it less than the critics the audience gave it 58 percent we've had a few of those sure but but they're also so close that it's like that's i think that's negligible, negligible. yeah yeah no. um i don't know I, I, it's a lot, both are a lot higher than I thought people would have liked. What were you going to say? You No, the, just the beginning of the movie. And this is again, tying into me saying that it's the most 2002 movie ever. Weird, weird acid trip intro. Weird fucking acid trip intro with like the little kids laughing and whispering into the mic. And like a lot of close up wave shots with like a lot of like lens flares and. And like, like reverse, um, polarity, like whatever. they like changing the colors around. It was just like. And I understand it's supposed to be like her hitting her head and like experiencing. I didn't even realize that that's what it I was think that's what it was supposed to okay. be. That's fine. It where, was just a lot. Where would you rank it? In my list of movies? <laughs> um, I would probably, it, I, it, it's got to be damn near by the, the bottom of this fucking list, man. All right. Hit me. It's, um, I don't know. I, I definitely liked it more than Made Manhattan just because I will never believe that Ray Fiennes is a leading man of any sort. Yeah, yeah yes, no, yeah. R- R- Ralph Fiennes is... Nagini. Not Nagini. Right? Yeah. So and, then he, and, he kills and then he's the, like, and then where's he kills my him? dog? And that's not, different. It's not the same. That's... Mm. You, 
you leave Jennifer Connelly anyway, alone. Anyway, um, yeah, it's above Made in Manhattan, but I, I, I would have to say probably not much farther. I would, I would say like the bottom three of my list are probably What Women Want at twelve. Uh, yeah, twelve. This at thirteen, and um, Made in Manhattan at fourteen. Yeah. Yes. That. Yes. What about you? And wait. What? So, what's your number one still? Uh, my number one is uh, Devil Wears Prada. Interesting. Yes. Okay. Still holding strong. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing's impressed me yet. That, that don't impress me much. That don't impress me much. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This goes for me. Uh, third from the bottom for sure. So, uh, just below Crossroads because Crossroads was like so silly it was funny it was like engaging because you were like that's ridiculous that's also ridiculous right. look how silly this is right uh and there was what's his name who like kept throwing fits oh tantrum ben tantrum ben oh and tantrum ode, ben an ode to tantrum ben yeah man uh so he's yeah so I, crossroads is 11 then this would be 12 what would want 13 made manhattan 14 made manhattan will never not be my bottom movie i, I don't listen think. there's still something coming up we haven't gotten into hallmark movies yet wait for december wait for december anyway i'm blown away that you like this more than what women want what women want had story it had characters this was this was this was nothing and like more entertaining nothing than what women want uh, than uh main manhattan but it was know. nothing i think i put it closer to crossroads though because it felt a little more like crossroads like crossroads like three friends chasing a dream like was it really them chasing a dream it was really they were just... chasing her dream yeah exactly but they were all trying to ha- which is help her chase her dream which is also something else okay great so amory got this sponsorship from billabong or whatever i'm what leaving to the... travel the world Bye. Bye. Take care of my little sister for me. Right. The thing she did not get was her mom coming back. She actually said that at one point. She's like, and I would just want my mom to come back. Can I tell you? I kind of appreciated that. It would have been too yeah. neat of a tie up at if the end. If her mom of... just showed up at the surfing thing so and like, proud of you. handed her the trophy. This is your new stepdad. <laughs> this is your new stepdad. <laughs> He's the head of Bill Bond. <laughs> <laughs> he wants you to be on their team. <laughs> deeper and deeper. Down the rabbit hole. Yeah, but she, um, I mean, listen, she she like she narfed some sweet barrels. And what's a narf? That's that's Pinky from Pinky in the Brain. Narf, narf. <laughs> it is. I don't know. I was trying to make up surf words. Yeah, yeah, no, she, I got it. She 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 really just surfed that pipe. She really she laid pipe. But she she piped the pipe. She piped. She was piping pipe pipe. She binked some rad water rainbows. <laughs> by the way how was that that fucking rainbow that like There's perfectly ra- cgi'd rainbow at the end <laughs> yeah was I mean, it the end it was the very the end. very end as the girls are walking out of the water together there's this very fake rainbow and marie triumphant with yeah. the rainbow over her. also one of when she's when uh matt's asking her like what do you want in this world she's like i don't know i want my mom to come home i'd like to win this fucking thing I want a woman surfer to be on the front of Surf Magazine. And she is that. She gets that. But it's funny because she goes, doesn't have to be me. Don't care. I don't care. Just anyone. But it's her. Even though she doesn't win the competition. I think that actually made it cool. Here, what do you think about uh, Kate Bosworth's actual performance in this movie? Because I think she was fine. I just think the movie's like not that great. Well, I think the dialogue wasn't well, that great and that, the plot wasn't that great. But it, I thought she actually did a believable job. That kind of ties into who was your favorite character of this movie? Was it Kate Bosworth? But would you agree that she was believable? No, I thought, I thought she was fine. I thought I, I I didn't think she was bad in any way. I mean, Michelle Rodriguez was atrocious. I couldn't watch her. Every time she speaks, it makes me angry. I don't think she's a particularly good actress. You don't think she's a particularly good actress? Is that what you just said under your breath? Because Michelle Rodriguez doesn't listen to this podcast. So I think you're safe. I don't know, but like her friends and family might. If you guys are friends and family with Michelle Rodriguez, call in. Uh, Call in. (laughs) Right in. Dominic Toretto himself, Mr. Vin Diesel might listen. I'll tell you right now, Dominic Toretto. Groot does not listen to this. Too bad. Um, Favorite character. Uh, Yeah, I think. I think she's my favorite character, which is actually funny because I think that's the first time that like, or one of the first times that, that my favorite character. character has been the main character. That was me last, the last week with, with L. L. Yeah. yeah, L was, yeah, you really loved it. It would be really hard for her not to be your favorite character because there were so few characters in this movie. Everyone else was just background. The linemen oh, were pretty funny. I, I'm going to tell you, I really like the lineman. I think he's my favorite character in this movie. I know it was played 
way over the top and like really for laughs. Yeah, he was wearing the speedo. He was wearing the speedo and like doing big, all like the big, butt shaking and big, stuff with his big belly. Yeah, I he really I leaned, went for it. Though. I leaned over to Matt and I was like, "He's shameless," and I love and it. I and I love that he's like that. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I think he might be my favorite character. He's, he's a close second. I think she's number one. And he's number two. He's in so much stuff. I don't. Mm, I, I should have been more prepared for this. Yeah. No, he's he's a familiar looking guy. I don't really remember him from that much. But uh, yeah, those are my two favorite characters. Did you have a least favorite character? Um. Yeah. Um. The sister. It Could, just was she annoying. She was really Did annoying. You find her annoying. Yeah, I found her annoying. I found her like. I don't like her. There was no story arc for her. She was just kind of a shit sister. Well, she was just like, um, she was like dressing for Kate Bosworth's story. There was no story. They for were her. all dressing for Kate Bosworth's story. No, but they all, I feel like they all had personalities, but she was just kind of like her role in this was to be like, Oh, but like Kate Bosworth, a has shitty a little op- piss aunt. <laughs> what? A shitty no, little piss aunt. I was, she like, uh, she's Kate Bosworth's like obligation. Like she's her, she's like Kate Bosworth has responsibilities, and that's like that was the sister's only like you like need like the only need for her in this movie. Right, but even that, she wasn't particularly good at. Uh, she's like, oh, you got school, right? Let's go surfing first. It doesn't matter if you're late. Don't worry about it. I'll talk to the the, the principal or whatever that guy was. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, she don't wasn't know. a particularly good. She uh, was certainly, care, certainly, terror. certainly the more annoying character, care, caretaker. Yes, yeah, uh, for sure. What What about you? No, like I, yeah, I, yeah, I agree. I would, the sister, I agree. or like, or like the ex boyfriend and his grunts. But he was, he was like an annoying antagonist, and he was meant to be, you know, sure, fine. sure, 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 totally fine. Um, I don't um, know. Did you learn anything from this movie? I learned never to watch Blue Crush. Other than never watch Blue Crush. No, I learned perseverance. I learned perseverance I, as well. You know, you That's know what I was gonna say. You know what I really learned? Mm-hmm. Never go fucking surfing. It's terrifying. It looks terrifying and like a lot of work. So much work. I agree. All right. Um, <laughs> on that note, I think I think this is going to be a shorter episode. There's just there was so little to talk about in this movie. Yeah, that's okay. I wish it was like even slightly more ridiculous, so we could be like, oh well, brr, that at least was stupid. No, it was just kind of. It wasn't stupid. That's the thing. Like I don't think any part of this was stupid. It was just kind of like, oh, I don't really care about this. Ninety percent. Really the, the movie was what an hour and forty four minutes or something, or it was it was. Um, yeah, something like that. One hundred and forty four. Do minutes. you think this movie was like aimed at a female audience? Yes, okay. for sure. It's like female empowerment. It's like I don't need a man. I'm 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 good enough to well, do just, this on my own. I think it's just a story about a like a female character like with her female friends like like. Uh, succeeding or like per- persevering and finding their confidence and shit. Yeah. So I, I guess it would be more targeted. I think it was, I think it was like approachable from anybody for anybody, but like it was just, uh, 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 just anyway, I think that's it for this episode, guys. If you want to reach out, it's uh, at drunk guys on chick flicks uh, on Instagram at DGOCF on Twitter Drunk guys on chick flicks at gmail.com. And if you have a Facebook, but fuck Facebook. Uh, But yeah, if you want to reach out, thanks for listening, and we will see you next week. Bye.